Well, we're here with David today, and we have the great opportunity to talk to David. He's the CEO of Stockpile Reports. Uh, let's kind of jump right in and talk about SR Measure. Uh, so, where does SR Measure fit into Stockpile Reports? Yeah, SR Measure was a very intentional effort to bring stockpile measurement literally to anyone, anywhere on the planet for free. Right. We spent the last decade, you know, we started on the iPhone 4S back in 2012, really focused on making that work for corporations and enterprises uh, who were focused on trying to reduce their financial fluctuations. And, you know, it took us a long time to get that technology right, then it was time to digest aerial photographs, then drones came to the scene, then installed cameras. So, man, we've had our hands full just taking care of companies, but I've always wanted to bring this measurement technology to the pocket palm or purse of anybody out there in the world. And so with SR Measure in January, we said, okay, let's do it. So, you know, we took the ability to process on the iPhone and get those results super fast, right? And put that into the app store to where anybody could download it anywhere and start measuring for free. And you can do that once a day for free. And for those people who are you know, harder core, and as they're trying to improve how they buy, sell, or move aggregates, then they can just click, click, get a subscription, and measure as much as they want, whenever they want. So, SR Measure was very intentional to bring this technology literally to the planet, and it's been it's been an incredible experience watching uh, it find its way around the world and light up the map. Nice. Well, you talked a little bit about big organizations and then small shops. How can a small mom and pop shop utilize that sort of Well, you know, unfortunately for us, when people download the app and they go use it, we don't even ask for an account, which is good, it's friction free, people just start measuring right away, but you know, we don't get to talk to our users of SR Measure very often. So we do get to talk to some people who reach out and say, hey, I'd like to use this throughout my company, you know, maybe tell me more about an enterprise version. Or if somebody calls and they had a question about, you know, accuracy and do we have any studies and things like that, you know, then we get to talk to a handful of people out there. So, you know, we have a lot of guesses of what small businesses are using, but then we have a little bit of feedback. And I'd say, you know, most of the examples that I've enjoyed discussing with people so far is just to do with delivery of material. I can talk to one small landscape company and they had the problem when they would deliver materials to the customer's house. I've had this happen with my own multi miles. The customer goes, there's no way that that's 12 yards, right? And then they get into this dispute back and forth, and they usually end up delivering extra, just doing some comp delivery, make the customer happy. But, you know, this person talked about how, you know, they're using it when, the, when there's a dispute with the customer. They just pull out the app, and they walk around, and they've had a handful that have just resolved because when they did the measurement, then customer saw it. Yeah, that was the right delivery. And then they're also shared with us they're using it to communicate back to the people loading the trucks to make sure they're not overloading and over delivering. So, you know, that's just a small local landscape materials company. It's not producing landscape materials, they're just buying it and distributing it throughout a community. And, uh, so it's great to hear examples like that where smaller companies who would have never been our customer before are now yeah. able to get value out of this our measure. Well, you talked a little bit about a, a small pile, and we've definitely seen some big piles, yes, sir. right? Yes, sir. Uh, so let's think about the big picture. Were you were you ever expecting it to to be all over the world? Something that somebody from you know oh absolutely the from the there? you know from the first time I was introduced to this problem in 2012. Absolutely, I mean, it was yeah. the immediate vision was this is going to be for every pile everywhere on the planet, right? And that is our rally cries every pile any time, right? Yeah. And we do want to be able to provide great data on every single pile, no matter where it is on the planet, no matter who it is dealing with. Again, whether it's buying it, selling it, or moving it around, you know, we want everybody to be able to measure. Nice. Well, what's the, what's the craziest place you've seen piles be? Oh, it's been a lot of fun seeing the map. So I've learned about a lot of new places on the planet that I didn't know existed. Um, one was some islands between the UK and Iceland. Um, I can't remember the name of the island. But just fascinating to see there in a small, you know, ferry terminal, somebody measuring piles. Um, you know, we don't get a whole lot of information. Uh, all we really get is, like, when things were measured and where it was measured, and, you know, some 
data that helps us you know, manage the system. But you know, we at least do get to see roughly where it is on the map. So it's good to see uh, where it pops up. So we've seen there, we saw some place just south of Tonga, uh, saw another place in the tip of Alaska. It's been, it's been really cool. Nice. Well, is there any place that you've seen that you'd like to go and visit after seeing the pile? Oh, I'd like to go to the place just south of Tonga. That, that, yeah. that looked pretty nice on the map. But, you know, I'd love to have excuses to go all sorts of places around the planet. Maybe New Zealand next. I don't know. We'll see. Well, the vision is there. You've got every pile on the planet. So say everybody downloads SR Measure and starts me measuring all their piles. What's next after SR Measure? Well, next is being able to you know, have every pile within a, you know, a supply chain or in a customer transaction and be able to share that data to the multiple people who care about it, right? Remember I said buy, sell, and move. There's usually at least all three of those, if not more, involved in, you know, moving some material around. And so allowing those partners to share information just so everybody's on the same page, but then also to even start some automation, right? Like, why shouldn't you be able to share a pile with three or four parties and maybe when the pile gets low hey a truck magically shows up right or maybe if somebody's doing a job and they've excavated and they've created a big pile of something well why should that just show up on exchange where people might be able to say hey i'd like to buy that material you just dug up that you consider waste so i think once everything's digital then we're going to create all sorts of new automations and new marketplaces and you know things for bulk materials that you know frankly have been going on in you know, things that come with barcodes and, uh, or digital assets, but, you know, for bulk materials, it's been hard to sketch a barcode on the side of a yeah. rock or a piece of bulk. So. Can't quite fit on some sand. No, it's yeah. tough. To, it's tough. You can do it, but it, it's tough to read. What is a, what is a challenging environment for SR measure? <sighs> Gosh, well, we say every pile any time, so we've tried to break through all the challenges, but, you know, there are just physical constraints that make things hard. Like, you know, we have customers in downtown New York City. I mean, you don't have room to spread out piles. So the problem is you end up with piles running into each other and, you know, overlapping. And so the, those create challenges to, you know, for the technology to sense and measure appropriately. And, you know, frankly, how the heck would you measure it appropriately? So it's usually the way the piles stored and managed due to some physical constraints of geography that create the biggest headaches. And, you know, we have had some piles in some really dark indoor places where, you know, people have had to complement the environment with lighting things like that but you know we never give up you know it's like we can't say no to measuring a pile we're just going to find the right tool for the right job and get creative well you've heard it here trying to measure every pile on the planet help us out by downloading sr measure one last question yes sir what's your favorite food favorite food is not sushi i can tell you that much uh, but i'm not really too picky i like to talk about food for function okay right? so so to me, it's the food that's at the right place at the right time. Great. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. Check us out on the next one.